and welcome. So we're in a series of building a modular synthesizer using synthesizer.com module. Last episode, we put in the voltage controlled amplifier VCA. This week, we're gonna put in the voltage controlled filter VCF. We're using a Q107A for this, so let's put it in and see what it does. Okay, we have our filter installed. This is pretty simple to hook up. We have uh, one input coming from our oscillator. We have one output going to our VCA, which goes off to our mixer. And if I play a key, we get pretty much the identical waveform. This is the output of the filter on the bottom row, and it's the output of the oscillator on the top row. And that gating is just the VCA turning it off. But the filter's not having any effect on it right now, because it's completely open. If I come up here and turn down the uh, cutoff frequency, you hear the tone change, and you can visibly see that it's taking off the rough edges of that waveform. And what it's actually doing is it's removing some of the harmonics. You have a fundamental tone, you have a series of harmonics that go up and they diminish in size as they go up higher and higher and higher. We hear them, but as you sweep down and take them out, we totally alter the sound. We could call it bright and dark. So bright sound, dark sound. So we could just go manually. It's fun, it's not practical. So since we have a keyboard that's creating control voltages and gates, we can use that to control these modules. I have that hooked up like that now. So we have an envelope generator. I'm gonna turn, this is called an invertible attenuator. I'm gonna turn it to the right. This allows a positive voltage to move the uh, cutoff frequency higher. And the higher I turn this, the more influence it'll have on it. So now, this is being automated by the control voltage for me from the keyboard. Now, I said this was invertible. You can turn it the other way. So instead of starting high and going low, now it's starting low and going high. The next thing about the filter, besides the cutoff frequency, which is just the tone, is we have something called resonance. Resonance is where the filter takes the frequencies that are coming in that are at or near the cutoff frequency and amplifying them or exaggerating them. And I'm going to turn this up and you can hear what it does and you can see it on the scope. So that sound that you're hearing is the cutoff frequency moving through the harmonics, but while it's moving through, it's exaggerating a portion of them right where the cutoff frequency is. And it really beefs up the sound. So that's the resonance. And then uh, let me just uh, do that invertible thing again and show you the opposite. Resonance is one of those things you can kind of overdo it, but it's fun. It's fun to do. We have three outputs on this filter. So we have low, high, and band. Let me go to the high. Now the low pass, uh, what it does is you have your bass, lowest frequency, 
and your cutoff frequency is when it's all the way down, it pretty much doesn't let anything through. And then as it raises up, it begins to let frequencies come through. Well, your fundamental tone, the C, uh, comes through first. And then as you go up, it's letting more of the harmonics come through that belong to that sawtooth wave. Sawtooth waves have a lot of even and odd harmonics. So high pass, however, is the opposite. It starts high, and as the cutoff frequency is moving, it's letting lower frequencies or lower harmonics and the, eventually the fundamental come through. So it's going to sound like it's coming from high going low, but notice we still hear the high. It starts out, we don't hear it, and then it comes in. With the low pass, it's exactly the opposite. Starts high, goes low, but we still hear the low, we no longer hear the highs. So that's kind of the difference between those. And then we, uh, the third one is we have a bandpass filter. So remember low pass is doing this, high pass is doing that. Band pass is doing this. It's just got a band that's right at or around the cutoff frequency and it sweeps through. That sounds like a wah wah. That's what it is. Wah wah pedal for a guitar is a bandpass filter connected to a pedal. So what I wanted to show you lastly, I just think this is interesting. So we have the uh, we have the resonance up, not super high, but you'll notice the bottom wave looks like a sine wave. It's this wave is being it's really taking this uh, sawtooth wave and modifying it, but it's modifying it to look like a sine wave. Now, as I turn the cutoff frequency up. Now it looks like I doubled the frequency. But in fact, that's the first harmonic. It's, it's raising up above the fundamental and now it's starting to get into the harmonic structure of this note and letting the first harmonic come through. Second harmonic, third harmonic. We're able to see that because the resonance is exaggerating the amplification of the signal right at the cutoff frequency. But I think it's interesting that we can hear the harmonics. You know, with a modular synthesizer, you, you have your oscillator, filter, amplifier, and who knows whatever else. Typically, when you're interacting with it hands-on, this is your this is my go-to knob. The filter, it's got a big knob. It it you get immediate immediate gratification when you turn that knob. I gotta tell you. And certainly, you can automate it. But you could have something running automated and then over time just tweak it a little bit and just totally change the effect. So, filter. State variable filter, uh, maybe in a later episode we'll look at the ladder filter. Uh, it's not too different, but if I could only have one, I would get the state variable just because it has all the other options on it. So that's our filter. So that's the voltage controlled filter. Next episode, we're going to add some more oscillators, oscillators part two. Be sure and stay tuned for that episode. We appreciate you guys coming around and watching. If you're getting anything from the videos, hit the like button, tell your friends about it. We'll catch you next time.